Let's go, baby! This is what would Josh do, and this is an unboxing of a phone I ordered yesterday morning. This is the Note 5. 5, 5, 5. All right, we have our Note 4 here. It's an amazing phone. It's going to continue be continue being an amazing phone and yes yes after i've had a week or so with this phone maybe even just a few days i will do a video comparing these two phones and letting you know is it worth your money to get the more expensive note 5 or the note 4 that has things the note 5 does not have so let's do this let's slide this back let's put this over here Let's take this, and, and it is important, oh, important, look, 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 we're going to cut this, we're going to cut this, oh, come on, I need a better knife, this knife is terrible, like, it just doesn't cut jack, alright, let's cut this, alright, well, it looks like I didn't cut it, I just kind of tore it, that's how you know this is not a good knife, and then we just take this, and we move that little piece of paper out of the way that shows the IMEI because I do not want to show that to the world. And look at this. Look. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, it's on the back too. You get a SIM card. My T-Mobile. I need to put that in there. Uh, looks like it's a Nano, so it's fine. I got one on my other phone. All right. So let's peel this off and put that. All right, there's a little sticker on the back of it. I highly recommend taking that off so it... it and then putting it like in your box somewhere or maybe on this other one that shows all your numbers like on the back. Because that's going to be how you know your activation number and stuff. Let's go through the rest of the box. Junk. Junk. And junk. A SIM card remover tool. Very cool. You can never have too many of these. Very nice. And let's see what else we got. Do we have a battery? We do not have a battery. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. So we got a charger. What's this charger rated at? Charger is rated at 9 volts, 1.6, 7, 1, whatever. And then a quick charge at 5 volts, 2 amps. So, okay. There you go. You can see that in the video. And then we got some micro USB cable for charging the sucker. We've got some S pin removal, like a tips. You can uh, put new little tips on there. And you get a pair of earphones. Not, I like these earphones. I do. I enjoy these earphones. I uh, got some, I believe, with my S6. I can't remember which phone it came with. But these these are good headphones. I like them. I'm not a fan of the ones that go in your ear. And when you talk, you feel like you're hearing your jaw vibrate the whole time. And I'm, I'm more of a the old Sony Walkman type that kind of just hung in your ear. I like these. I feel like they meet in the middle. They got volume up and down and like a mute in call button. And you have some different size ear adapters for people with different size ear holes. Okay. All right. That's, that's, that's all stuff that we can look at later. Let's look at the Note 5. Let's get an Instagram picture of the Note 5. This is the phone I'm using at the moment. My awesome M9 here. I'm going to take a little picture of... My Note 5. All right, now I'm gonna post that on my Instagram. All right, so there's the, the color looks really yellow like bad, but uh, let's go ahead and post that. Please follow me on Instagram if you're not doing so already. Uh, just search www.joshdew and you will find my Instagram and you'll be able to tell right away by that. Whoa, my white balance or something. What the heck is going on? All right, so <laughs> let's look at this sucker. Let's look at it. All right, it, it's sleek. It really is. I don't have my S6 anymore. Uh, to be completely honest with you, my wife didn't want to use it. I would prefer using my M9 or some other phone than the S6. So we got rid of it. We don't have it anymore. I, it looks just like the S6, though. This comes out, and I like that. That's cool. It's really neat. It, it's the flush with it. And then you got your speaker, your charging port. I was really hoping this would be a Type-C, but maybe that's something I don't want to adopt just yet. Then your headphone port, and that's just really cool. On these, the stylus just kind of pops out, so if you don't really have any fingernails or anything, it's going to be a little hard getting that out. The nice thing about this is 
fingernails or no fingernails. Super easy to push that in and out. Volume button, or I'm sorry, your power button. I'm just too excited. Uh, looks like you got your SIM right there. You can go ahead and take your SIM card out. Let me go ahead and do that in this video, actually. Let me retire the M9 for the moment. Let's, let's go ahead and retire this phone for the moment. Let's go ahead and turn it off. And then this side's the SD card. So the, this one does have an SD card, and I have a pretty big one in there at the moment. And then this side is the SIM card, if I am correct. It's been a little while because I've been using this phone for a good minute now. There is my T-Mobile SIM card. All right, let's go ahead and take that out and then put that into our note here inside the tray. All right, once what's in there, we're just going to go ahead and slide it in. Maybe it's the other way. Oh, come on. Just go in there. All right. Let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on. This is this is awesome. It, it feels good. It doesn't feel too slippery. I'm sure it would if you're sweaty or something, but it feels pretty good at the moment. Put my tray back in my M9 because... Believe it or not, I still will use this phone again. And I might even take my Nexus 6 and take my AT&T SIM card out of my Nexus 6 and put it in here. I really like this phone, but I really like the Nexus 6. I have too many freaking options. This is driving me crazy. All right. So, English. English. Uh, 4G right away. Look at that. 4G right away at the top there. Boom, 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 boom. T-Mobile Unlimited 4G LTE going to work. Let's turn on Wi-Fi and connect us to our router. Look at that 10, 12% battery. That is terrible. Um, skip. Uh, where's our 5 gigahertz network at? Okay, it takes a second for it to pop up sometimes. We're going to go ahead and put in our password. That keyboard looks a little different too. All right, password is in. Let's go ahead and connect it to our Wi-Fi. And, well, tell me when I connection speed. 780 megabits per second. Very nice. And for those of you that are like, oh, I have your IP address. That is my internal IP address. You can get nothing out of that. So go ahead and leave a comment and letting the world know you're special. All right, I do not consent. I, some people are like, ha oh, ha, now I know where you live because I have your 192.168.1 IP address. Just, <laughs> oh. All right, so here, here's here's the kicker. Here's here's the kicker. All right, this this is the thing that's going to drive a lot of people crazy. Here Here's the note for my wife's using it at the moment because she likes the fact that she can just do what I'm about to show you. 46%. We're going to the hospital. We're going to t travel. We're going to go do something. We're going to be in a movie theater. We're going to be out of the house for a little while. Uh, this is a T-Mobile phone on AT&T. You probably saw the AT&T SIM card. Uh, once you've had your T-Mobile device for 40 days, you can freaking unlock it. And that's in the cover real quick. I got this on T-Mobile. I do have AT&T and T-Mobile. We both do. In 40 days, I will call T-Mobile up and get this device unlocked. T-Mobile will send me an unlock code. And then I can stick my AT&T SIM card in there and use it on AT&T. The beautiful thing about that is the bootloader is not locked. Today, right now, if CF Auto Root is available or Torp Recovery, I can flash this with Recovery and I can root it. This thing has Torp Custom Recovery, the latest version. This has Super SU. And this is on AT&T. If you buy... Any Samsung device from AT&T or Verizon, you are not going to be able to root it. You're not. You're not going to be able to root it unless you wait months and, oh, if you applied any updates from the moment you got your device, this will not work. No, 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 no. <laughs> you don't want to buy a super nice phone on a super crappy network, so don't get this on Sprint. <laughs> The Kansas City area here, Sprint's garbage. It might be good where you live, just don't travel. And, and and you'll know what we all, most people go through with Sprint. <laughs> so uh, the only really only the network I can even suggest to people is T-Mobile. I have oh it's so awesome. So this device will have root and custom recovery the moment those are available, and then in 40 days I'll be able to call T-Mobile up, get it unlocked from T-Mobile, and put my AT&T SIM card in there. If I don't feel like putting AT&T on this phone or my Nexus Six or something. Anyways, also. Please do not pay your carrier nine, ten, eleven, twelve dollars a month or more to insure your device. Don't do it. Just pay Square Trade five bucks a month to insure your device, and they will replace it if it's busted up, or they'll fix it if they can. 
I will put a link to Square Trade in the description so that they know I sent you. Or you can just type in bit.ly.com slash get Square Trade. Capitalization does matter. It's up on the screen right now and in the description. Anyways, so we're going to save some money every month by not getting insurance through a carrier. All right, so here's here's the big kicker. All right, boom. We got a 64 gig SD card in there. We can put 128 gig in there if we want, but this is a very, very fast 64 gig SD card. Also, this battery that was at 40 something percent, look, this little light on here turned green. So now I'm going to go ahead and take this battery out of here. I'm going to... I'm going to go ahead and stick this inside the Note 4, and I'm going to go ahead and turn it on, and then put the back back on it. All right, all right, all right. And while that's, while that's doing that, we want to charge up this battery. All right, little light's red, and I did time it in my unboxing of this guy right here for the Note 4. It's a couple hours, not a big deal. This battery's going to last way longer than it's going to take for this thing to charge up. And you can also go third party, and get batteries like this. Yes, I have like six batteries for my Note 4 laying around. Look at that 100% charged battery. I didn't have to wait an hour. I didn't have to wait two hours. It's fully charged right now. And then I've got all these batteries laying around that I can just carry with me and swap out. Or you can go with the big boy here and you see this Note 4 10,000 milliamp hour battery. It makes your phone a tank, but it lasts for a whole week on standby, even longer. It's just incredible. It's awesome. It's And you can't do that with these options right here. I still have my Nexus 5, and this is my Nexus 5 battery case. You're going to have to have to have something like this if you want an external battery for your Nexus or for your Note 5. It plugs into the bottom. In fact, actually, this one could do it if the adapters were flipped. And then you just put this inside the case. And it's big. It's huge. And these batteries aren't that big. 3,500 versus 10,000, which one would you rather have? So that's the big kicker. The Note 4 is not going anywhere. My wife sold the Note 3 right after we got the Note 4 to make up the difference for it because these devices cost me real money that I have to save up for. And so the Note 4 is probably not going to get sold or go anywhere because, frankly, one of us is still going to use it because it's still an amazing phone and it's going to be an amazing phone for a long time. Hell, the Note 3 is still a good phone. <laughs> so Note 5. Let's go ahead and play with this sucker. All right, skip. This is just the unboxing. I, I like to talk about a ton of different things. If you're used to my videos, then you're used to me. If you're not used to my videos, then you're not used to me. So let's go and enter in our email. And I got the 32 gig version because the 64 gig version said it was back ordered. And I would have had to wait till September 26th to possibly get it when this version was available now. And honestly, this phone's 32 gigs. And I never touched the 128 gig micro SD cards on the side here. And my Nexus 6 is 64 gigs, but I always use up less than 3 gigs of that 64 gigs. So, And also, on my keychain, I've got these little card readers that you can watch my video. I'll link to it in the description. But it basically just looks like this and attaches to the bottom of your phone. And you can throw a 128 gig micro SD card in there. And boom, you have tons of storage. And if your friend has a Note 3, a Note 4, a Note 5, an S6, an S5, you can transfer that video to this thing and then send it over to them. So even if it's a 1 gig 4K video, it'll still take just a less than a minute to copy it over to this thing and then less than a minute to copy it over to their phone. And it's just, it's awesome. I keep one of these on my keychain at all times. So expandable storage, I have it right here on my keychain within arm's reach at any given time. All right, so we logged in. If we entered in all the correct information, it will let us into our account. It's going to ask us to start restoring our apps. You can set this up as a new device, and it won't restore everything, or you can ask it to restore everything from a certain phone, or you can go through and pick individual things that you want to restore. So <laughs> if you don't, you know... <sighs> Now, I'm probably still going to enjoy this device, 4 gigs of RAM, LDDR4, like the, all the newest stuff that's not available in most of our other phones are in this phone. 4 gigs of DDR4 RAM? Really? I don't have any, This is my first device with that much RAM and the newest type of RAM. That's awesome. So let's go ahead and pick our Nexus, our M9. Let's go ahead and pick our M9. I don't know why it says 18 days ago. I just used it. That it doesn't make sense to me. All right, let's go ahead and use our M9, or let's set it up as a new device. We really don't want all the crap from our old device on there. And set up screen lock. What are our options? Let's see what we have here. We've got pattern pin, password, fingerprints. I forgot about the fingerprint. Confirm. All right, place it over the home key, then lift off, then repeat. 
oh cool it's not the slow way of doing this that's well that's taken several wow okay move your finger slightly oh between the two okay move your finger slightly <laughs> i should have read that <laughs> someone's popping up and now she's ignoring it all right success and then we can go ahead and put in a code just in case like our fingerprint's not working or something. All right, so in here also you can make it towards when it's locked. It, I wanna go ahead and hide the content of the things and then back up your phone's apps, settings, passwords, uh, help improve, uh, no. And then we're almost done here. We're almost done. Let's go ahead and skip this and skip. <laughs> And later, let's do S voice later. No, we do not want easy mode. And no, we do not want diagnostics. Oh man, look at all this stuff that's just popping up there first thing. Let's go ahead and clear everything. Kind of sucks to give you a bad battery right off the bat, like it needs to be charged up. <laughs> I I have a hundred percent battery in this one in seconds, and in this one I I'll have to wait an hour for the damn thing to charge up. That's not a terrible long time in the battery life. Should be really good. A lot of the reviews are saying so far that it's really good. And yeah, you can go ahead and disable this. If you open up the T-Mobile app, you can disable that. So this is cool. This is cool. Let's go ahead and do a speed test. Some people on Twitter asked me to run a speed test to see just how fast the Wi-Fi was. So let's go ahead and uh, do a speed test real quick by downloading the app and then we'll be back when it's done uh, actually let's see how fast this phone really is accept and installing okay very very nice and then we'll go ahead and run a couple speed tests real quick and i think we'll end the video and then i'll do a first impressions either tomorrow or the next day so if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel please do so you won't miss any videos of the note 6 the note 5 <laughs> the note 7 or any other devices that come out in the future uh that's actually pretty slow let's go ahead and back out of that and close all, well, multi-window. Let's, let's, that's all stuff for the later video. <laughs> this is almost over. Um, I think I never really know. So let's run another speed test. And we're getting slow speeds. I don't know why. If you look at my Google Fiber video, my Note 4, and Nexus 5, and other devices, I get way faster speeds than this. I don't understand this. All right, I'm going to connect directly to my Google Fiber router. The signal is not the best. But we'll try that again connected to their router that they gave me. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know why I'm getting speeds like this. This is this is terrible. I mean, I'm used... I know it's not terrible, but compared to the three to 400 I usually get, this is not good. <laughs> I mean, I know I've had Comcast and I've had, you know... Uh, <laughs> really, oh, there we go. That's a little better. That's a, that's a little better. And I'm not complaining. Honestly, that's going to be more than fast enough to do everything. But just know that my network can go so much faster than that. All right. That's about it. I would say that 64 gigs, I might actually go and exchange this in a couple weeks or before my time's up and get the 64 gig because this does have a really good camera. And there's a way to like record and stream directly to YouTube. So that's awesome uh, i don't know how that works mode uh video collab slow motion live broadcast uh agree and it's going to ask me for my youtube channel okay uh sign in all right and then you are enabled for this feature and i'm going to switch it over to my second channel here all right lot oh sign in again Oh, terms and conditions. I agree. It keeps saying I'm already enabled for this feature. Let's go ahead and close out that app. And <laughs> we're, we're almost done here. Uh, there'll be more videos very soon. All right, let's go to mode again. And let's change it over. Whoa, get off my face. All right, the front camera can go to QHD. The front camera can go to QHD. That's crazy! That's awesome! And gesture control, 
review pictures. Um, let's change it to no to live broadcast. Uh, see, I, at the moment it's glitched out. It's not actually working. I don't know what's going on here. Um, yeah, live broadcast is glitched out, but once I get it working, I will try a live stream on my YouTube channel, and we're going to have some fun with this phone, and we're going to be making plenty of new videos with this phone, and anything you guys want to see in the review or first impressions or a, a completely separate video, let me know. Let me know in the comments below. I will read every single comment. I'll try to reply to the ones that I have an answer to and I, that I can reply to. If you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. I promise you, you will not regret it. I will be making mini videos on the Note 5. And I will cover things that other people may not cover. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I did let everybody know that's following me that I was making this video and that it was going to happen today. And I also let everybody know when this shipped, when it was coming, etc. So if you're not following me on social media, please do so. I will have a link in the description. This is what would Josh do and I'm out.